So the next step to doing these um, different things with this bivariate data is to be able to find the line of best fit, which is another topic from uh, ninth grade that you probably spent a fair amount of time on and also probably a little bit more last year. Uh, a couple of important things to understand is that the line of best fit basically goes down the middle of all of the points in it. It uh, is supposed to keep the distance from each point on each side at zero when it goes down through. One of the things you're going to have to do is find the mean point. Uh, and the mean point is the mean of x and y. All right, so we went on here a little bit in a different video. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but the mean point does always have to fall on your line of best fit. So if you draw it by hand, it has to go through that point. Then you just kind of angle it so that it goes down the middle of all the points when you actually do that. Uh, the good news is that we are not going to do any kind of finding this by hand or sight or anything like that. We're going to use a calculator um, to do all of it. But you may be asked to sketch it on there. The big thing is that if you do sketch it, it has to go through the mean point. All right, so I'm going to write that down. Let's go through the mean point. All right, so it has to go through the mean point no matter what. 